Hello and welcome to Grace in Australia Diecast Salvage. Videos on this channel is directed to the adult community as it contains strippers, so good it'll take the paint off diecast vehicles, nudity of paint stripped diecast vehicles, and a man playing with his tools. Adult supervision advised for those under 16 years in age. So come along, enjoy what's coming up. Welcome back to another episode of Gravesend Australia Diecast Salvage. In today's episode, we're going to attempt, no I mean attempt, to turn this Subaru Impreza into a representation of my landlord's car and I'll show show it to you as we take it out move across and there it is there take out the garage just do a quick walk around So that is what we're going, going to attempt to do as we come back into, into my workshop. As you can see, my workbench is rather full. So, stick around. So, what, what we're going to need to do to this, to make it look like my landlord's car, is we'll need to shave these scoops off. We need to take this off. We'll need to take the rear wing off. Tyres I won't be able to match. I'll, I'll paint them silver. Maybe I can um, maybe do, put, put a bit of filler in inside that rim we might be able to do. We need to take the roll cage out and we need to work out how to get these decals off the screen without fogging it. Hmm, challenge, challenge, challenge. It's what we like at Graves in Australia Diecast Salvage. Some challenges. So, let's see how we take this apart. Catch you in a moment. So I was originally going to do this Maisto Subaru, but it has the wrong headlight on the front. This is the previous model that has the bug eye headlights on it. So that one we're putting aside. This is a, can't read it, King Smart. King Smart, the 132 scale. It is a pullback action one. It has two screws, which makes it nice and easy to take apart. I've already taken the screws out. So we'll put that aside. The interior comes straight out. And we can take, take the roll cage out fairly quickly. Just give get my handy dandy screwdriver I'll take it from Nick's toy garage uh, some of his some of his uh, sayings like to pinch from other people the handy dandy screwdriver Nick's toy garage is a is a good channel to watch I've learnt a few things from from Nick so if you're watching Nick thanks very much so there goes the roll cage. So we're left with the front seats. I'm not putting a back seat in. Okay, next. While we're taking apart 
is the dash. It's held in by two pins. I'll just give that a bit of a, a nudge. And the dash is out. The doors. Hmm. Might leave that till a bit later. The screen has got two little pins there. A bit of pressure, we should be able to... Yeah, that wasn't too hard. Get that out. Now it's a matter of getting the... Trying to get the screen out. It's very tight, it's very tight up the front. There we go. That is now, the screen is now out. The... The wing here is held in by one, two, three, four lugs. I've already taken the liberty of loosening a couple, just levering it underneath. So we've got that. So what we're going to need to do is fill up those four holes. This, this scoop here is held in by two pins but we should be able to leave it that off. There we go, that's out the way. We'll put that, we'll put that in the spare parts bin and along with the wing we'll put it in the spare parts. Yeah, okay, the Highlights. There it the, the what? Okay, it comes in a two, it comes in two parts. We have the chrome piece, and we have a have our lens. Oops. There we go. And there we have our lens that goes with our chrome piece. That's interesting. All right, so I'm assuming the, sum, the front's going to be the same. Yes, it is. There's the chrome piece. And there go our headlights, our lens. Now, what have we got left? We have the... We have the right, the grill, top and bottom. All right, so let's have a little look. Okay, so by looks of things, that the top grill up here is held in by this grill here, or vice versa. So we. Carefully with the handy dandy screwdriver. Thanks, Nick. So that's our top grill. Here is our bottom grill. So we're left with the car, and we have some door carts to sort out. I'm going to leave the doors attached because I'm just having a look to see how they actually put in. Okay, Dad, you know, by the looks of things that they've got a mushroom post on there, so we'll, we'll, leave, we'll leave the doors in situ. We won't um, grind the heads off, we'll, let, we'll leave them in. I generally like to, you know, with opening doors, I generally like, like to leave them on when I paint. If you're doing, if you're doing colours, you, you know, it's all your, especially like candies, 
to get the same colour uh, to, uh, the, the side panel to held in by two pins to get the same colour mat same colours with the candies it's best to leave the best to leave the do door on so again we'll just just see if we creep in underneath and we take the door cards off so that leaves us with now just the shell so what we need to shave off is this part of the bonnet that scoop and this wing up the top here then again just to for a bit of poetic license just make it a little bit easier on me is we may leave this part on the the scoops on the bonnet but we will t definitely take this wing off we'll shave that off because as I said with poetic license I'm not going to be able to match the wheels on the on the real Subaru on the one to one scale so we'll use a bit of poetic license and, and leave the scoops on the front but the rest we should be able to get off Alright, so let's get things in, into order again. We have our chassis, we have our base, we have our windscreen to get some decals off, we have our tail light lens, we have our tail light chrome, we have our headlight lens. And we have our headlight chromes. We have our door cards that has the mirrors. We have our dash. We have our seats. And what we're going to take away is the roll cage, the air scoop, the rear wing, but we will keep our our grills so all right we'll put all our all this stuff over here our plastics into into our handy dandy Asian style chicken and corn soup container for Keeping. So we don't. Try, so we try not to lose everything. Oh, put our screen in. We'll put our base in. We'll just leave it up the top there for the moment. We'll take our other pieces away. Put them into a another container where I have four bits and bobs. Sorry about that. I've moved my camera and got it on a different stand. So we're, we're trying out a, a, a different feature. So we've got to try to do a bit of a balancing act. Balance, balancing. Uh, put your teeth in, Michael. Balancing act to uh, keep the keep the thing. So now. We know what's going to happen next. We're going to get go to our venue. We'll get our girls ready, our strippers, to get rid of this paint and these decals. So, catch you in a moment. Our strippers are ready. Our venue is ready. Are you ready? If not, stand back. So we 
getting some some reaction down here. Out from the wheel arches. The looks of things we're getting some paint lift up the front there. Anyway, know what the drill is. Give the girls some time to do their to do their bits and pieces. I'll be back while I'll have my coffee. Sit back and relax, ladies and gentlemen. And we'll go from there. Let's see. We've got a brush. For the moment, yes, I'm top. Bit of stir. So this might ta ta take a while, so we'll let we'll let it sit in the in the soda. We did use five teaspoons. We may add a little bit more. This is a larger casting than what I'm usually doing. Uh, I'll give that a little bit of extra time. The colours are the colour of the water is starting to turn a bit blue, so it may it may be working. Uh, we'll put our other performance just to one side. Alright, so you don't get bored just watching a screen and see, seeing some bubbles. I'll sit back, I'll watch it, I'll watch the girls for you, and we'll be back when we have a naked vehicle. Catch you in a moment. Okay, the girls are making me work. Man, I've been, I've been playing with my tool all, all morning. So going to keep going so it's a fine but there it is I've already done one one side I've already taken the wing off I've already shaved off the bonnet holders shaved off here so we need to still clean up this side I don't know if I'm going to keep keep the camera in the, this angle. Very very hard to go over the top of the camera to see where we're doing. But we'll persevere for today. As you can see, she's starting to polish up rather nicely. Still have some scraps of paint on the casting, which we hope to get rid of. That's in the in the front where the black grill goes. Now that uh, we've got most of that off, we come back with this steel full scourer. Okay. 
doesn't matter so much inside inside here because you've got a cover going over the top this little piece here where my finger is I'm going to fill because to make it the the flat like that because I still need to put some some uh, daytime running lights on the front so I'm not too worried about the scraps of paint that's on the inside I will do a, a, br a light brush through to get rid of the loose stuff <clears throat> excuse me Not everybody's going to see the inside, most people are just going to see the outside. So that's where we're doing most of our concentration on. I don't want to break that door in. Just a rough idea as to the process that we go through. So I'll do a little bit more of this polishing and getting rid of some scrap paints off the vehicle, off camera, and we'll come back when this thing will be in primer. Just need to tidy up a, a couple of things as well on me. Like I've remade a groove to continue on down the where the wing was. We ground it down and we've added the groove. Oh, as I said, I'll, let, I'll leave these scoops on on the front. keep on polishing. Catch you in a moment. So the vehicle is now in primer. So now we need to do some filling and we're going to start off with this back part here and what I'm going to fill it in is with this product here which I bought from the one of the automotive stores. So I'll get the tape. So I find it. There we go here. Cut it down a bit. Hmm. Okie dokie. Maybe the best. The question how are we going to do this? What we're going to do is we'll, we'll do it opposite to what I normally do. Normally I, I would tape it up from the inside and push it up. You know, tape, tape in there and then come in from that side. But as you can see here, it's a little bit difficult to get into those places with the tape. So what we'll do is we'll go from there. Which is about the interruption. It was uh, my landlady asking me what what I want for my tea later on. So we're just going to press that in. As you can see, it just comes out in a, in a tube form. It has uh, filled up in there. I'm hoping you can see that in that light. So now we're just going to get a device to to push it through. May, I may use I may use my fingers if I haven't stuck my head in the way. That just gives an idea. So. Just 
using my, my fingers to press it in. So I can on that side. And it should it should come through, no, we're going a little bit too far. On my finger up in there. Uh, rub it off your fingers. Uh, the axis around the the axis around the glass area because we're going to need that. So hopefully, so hopefully we um, have gone through. So let me just pick at the at our screw hole because that's where. We need to keep that clear. All right, let's see what happens when we take the tape off. That hasn't come out too bad. Just need to work on, on that one there. To push through. Is that? Yeah, there you go. See, we still had some plastic. We still had some plastic in there. So, just get a bit of more of that um, liquid silicon. Uh, liquid silicon. The liquid steel. There we go. Drop, drop all my tools. That's what happens when you play with your tools too much. You lose it. So we we'll go back into. Press it in there. End off the tube. Close the tube. And press it in. It's the reed starting to harden up. So we need to play around with it a little bit more. I'll keep I'll keep doing that. Work on that and we'll come back to see how we did. Catch you in a moment. Well we've done some filing. We've done some filling. Holes are filled up in the back there. The hole's been filled up the top there in the roof. That front piece on the over here has been filled. So we're in itch primer. So she doesn't look too bad. As said previously, I'm not going to grind down the the front, it was a good enough job on the on the back here getting that wing off and filling these holes. I just don't want to fill up any further holes. It's only a representation of the vehicle that's outside. So the next thing is paint. Now I am going to put a base coat on first and then we'll go on to a colour. 
See you in a moment. I may have to rethink about the taking those scoops off the bonnet on that car. Because I went through my stash of cars for wheels and I found some that are quite suitable. They're a five spoke and they're the right diameter. I just have to make the the space between the wheels a little bit wider, but we can do that with some tubing. So let's see how we go. Catch you in a moment. Right here we have our base colour. It is a it is chrome. Chrome paint um, out of the rattle can. That's to give us our our base. We are going to paint it white. So we're going to let that completely dry. Now we need to work on our new tyres. So the thing the thing is that the wheel the, the car that I got the tyres from was a little bit narrow, narrower than what this one is. So what I've done is I only discovered this the other day. And I took one of these, cut the ends off as it's hollow and it's a nice tight fit over the axle. So we'll push if I can do it on if I can do it on, on camera that'll be that that would be good. So we'll just like everything. It works off camera, but not on. So, okay. Now, now that we've got the feeder in, sorry for taking sorry for taking it off off camera. All we're doing is. Trying to get it onto the end of the right down to the end of the axle may need a bit of a hand. So <laughs> fiddly, fiddly, fiddly. All right. So now we'll feed in the axle from. The other side, match it up to the end of the axle tube now, and we now press them together. Just bring them out a bit, so now it becomes a a nice little roller. So now we'll see, we'll see how she looks on the car. So I'll make, make it. Yes, that works. Now we just need to make. Oh. Yeah. Okie dokie. So I may, refi may rethink about do doing this. I may not. And at the moment, at the moment not, but I'll think about it. In the meantime, I'll turn that round again, put that on there, and I'll um, work on this rear axle. Catch you in a moment. Now, as you can hear, that's what I'm using, a rattle can. I haven't used the rattle can. I haven't used the rattle can for... A very long time of doing a, a test. Give it a moment. I'll just actually close this garage door. It's getting too much wind through it. Get with me. Here we go. Down, down the remote goes. Slowly. All right. So now we can spray.
painting it at, at the lost white and I actually shouldn't be putting it on that. Let me get my data box out. And we'll set it up on we'll set it up on the Excuse me. I'll let that dry for now. Mm -hmm. So we shall put that out in the sun to dry and we'll move on to the next part which is the windows. So we'll catch you in a tick. Alright, so we stripped it down again. The white paint didn't like the silver base coat. So I thought, okay, seems we've got to strip it down. We'll take the front scoops off. So we've shaved it. We still need to do a little bit more filling just up the top here and the scoop that was sitting up we've cut into it and then we just knocked it down so we didn't have a big hole to fill just a tiny hole but we still need a little bit of work to do just on the on the front here where my finger is and what we're using is the metal filler I will come back when she is in primer. So here's our reveal for the King Smart Subaru. That was a uh, w WRX that we've changed it just back to a Impreza. Like I said, to look like that one out there. So we stripped it. We've taken the rear wing off. Still needs a few touch-ups touch here and there, but we'll come back to it. We've taken this piece off here. We've shaved the scoops off the bonnet and filled. We've put in the driving lights or the daytime running lights down the front. We've given it some wheels that we found from another vehicle on there. We've taken the roll bar out. Unfortunately, I did crack the, the rear screen while I was taking the decals off. This one wasn't too bad, but um, again, we've got a slight crack in it because I was putting too much pressure on the screen itself. And on this side here, we'll put another screen back in because that one broke off completely. Things happen. So, all in all, I'm... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it, with um, what we've done with it. It's not exact, but it's close enough. If you don't look too close, it will work all right. So, I'll, you know, we'll take, take it back to, back to this scenario here. You don't see all, all the imperfections that are on, on with it. You know, you're seeing them the imperfection because we're so so up close with it anyway I hope you enjoyed this little video I'd like to thank my subscribers my visitors thumbs up thumbs down doesn't matter it's all counted according to YouTube so catches on the next round bye for now